I think you can probably point at a number of reasons, uh, but in particular, um, the lack of confidence that uh, BAME coaches have in the opportunities being made available should they complete their qualifications. And I think, uh, secondly, a, a pretty poor recruitment process, and that's something that the game is uh, uh, trying to and does desperately need to review to make sure it's open and transparent. Mm. Our team here and our board and our managers um, looking to work towards a positive change have been continually uh, every month looking at what's working and what isn't working and how that we can make a difference. We, uh, we have a diploma in football management and when I uh, looked at our results over recent years 18 of the 22 BAME coaches that have been through the diploma are in work. So from our perspective it's more of the same. Um, we're developing with the support of the Premier League the appointment of career development officers and those individuals will really help create that career pathway uh, for all coaches. Um, we want to see uh, an open and diverse um, uh, position for all, all managers and coaches that want to work in, profession, in the professional game. And then I think looking at um, CV writing, mock interview training, uh, and very, very important languages, work experience, study visits. We need to continue to invest to the LMA Institute in making sure that we provide uh, the facility and the educational opportunities, the qualifications and the access to work experience and all of the issues and the, the benefits that I've, I've mentioned earlier to make sure that the BAME coaches that are looking on the career pathway to becoming a coach and a manager um, we are able to help uh, the, uh, whatever that, those numbers may be. Well, whether you call it positive discrimination or whether you call it uh, subconscious bias, I think it's the platform I'm interested in. It's making sure that the 92 clubs have an open and transparent recruitment policy, um, that we're aware of the jobs, that we can advertise those jobs. And the coaches that are looking to work in the professional game have career guidance officers that they can marry up with, that they can uh, ensure that the qualifications that they need to do the various jobs that they want to move into and build a career, that we provide access to that. Uh, I'm not really pleased by where, where, we've, where the game has got to because I think we have uh, a, an awful long way to go. I think it's a massively steep learning curve and the stats show us that it's not good enough. Only five managers, but we need to ensure that there are more than 20 BME coaches with the pro license, that there are more than 60 plus coaches with the A license. And we need to ensure that once those individuals have been identified who want to become coaches and managers, that the services that we offer, which is all I can control, are the very best, properly funded and available to all.